what we have here is a uh, IRPD motion infrared detector. The way it works is it pulses the two LEDs on either side with a frequency of light, a frequency going into those LEDs and it reads back in a sensor in the middle and uh, the way it works is it sees something on either side the computer software the little uh, microcontroller there which is a mega 2560 uh, Adreno but it by logic it turns on and off either side of the sensor in the software and looks left and right and middle and it builds a uh, binary representation of uh, a map in front of it and the thought is since it's mounted on the servo there is steering for collision avoidance like on a small toy or a Zumba vacuum cleaner or just something the way it works if something approaches it turns away See, but uh, I thought that was just kind of cool. It took about 20 minutes to knock together. There's no real work involved in it. Uh, it's driving the way the the servo motor works. Is you apply a five voltage to it. It's just a typical foot above uh, RC servo, like in a radio control airplane or a car, and uh, you apply five voltage to the black and the red, red being positive, and it has a signal wire that comes off of it, and you pulse width modulate a frequency going into it, and according to that frequency, it seeks a position, and it compensates inside with like a potentiometer, and when it seeks that frequency, zero to 180 degrees, and the potentiometer says it's at that point, that relative point, it ceases and stops right there. Like if you send, uh, say, a 90 degree set point frequency to it, that servo will run to 90 degrees. Applications for homes, uh, just uh, adapting a toy to something useful, would be air damper control in a wood boiler or a wood fireplace or something controlling the air, a charcoal grill, say you're wanting to control the heat in a charcoal grill, and you could set the air damper with that and throttle the air going back down and cool the heat down, you know, instead of standing there with a spray bottle. But uh, this little controller, they're on eBay for uh, $35, $40. I've got twice that much in this one. I bought it from DigiKey. But uh, it also has the center adapter for a USB to a Android tablet. That's the reason I got it. I'm gonna use it for something else eventually. But anyway, it's just fun, fun thing to play with. Something new. It didn't take long to knock around. Let you see it. It would work to steer something like that. You could build and turn it loose, and it would run around the room, avoiding table legs and uh, walls and things, run around like a mouse. What would be really interesting, and that has enough memory to do it, would be, be to build a map, a binary map of the floor, and in case it avoids something or something that it sees, it could turn around and run a clear path that he he had just came down and uh, have a have a place to retreat from but anyway i hope you enjoyed that it's not complicated at all to build i can post the code probably will on mad modders forum and may give it to the adreno uh community you know if i figure out where to post it there but it's very simple to do very simple to use the software is simple. The software is free. <coughs> Excuse me. The software is free. 
and it's very easy to get into this kind of thing and it's interesting and not boring.